Hey people, welcome to another session of me helping you go through and do Jasper Active PowerPoint. So on this video, we are going to work on lesson two, understanding slide masters. You can see I'm already signed in and at this point you should be getting pretty good at doing it. So I'm not gonna review how to do that. Uh, if you don't remember, check my earlier videos. So here we go, understanding slide masters. As this loads up, I want to remind you or share with you that Slide Masters is kind of like uh, the framing for a house. If you think about what the walls, the shape of the walls is behind what you see, that's what the Slide Master does. It gives you the framework for everything else that's going to be put on the outside. So when we look at Slide Masters, we need to change our view. So you go to the View tab. And in the view tab, master views, you're gonna select slide master. This is the slide master and it opens up onto the slide style for whatever you were selected on in the original slideshow. So I'm gonna scroll up and down here so you can see in the navigation pane, we were on what happened to be a two content slide. What we need to do is go up to slide number one. I always call this the master of all master master slides because it's in charge of everything. Whatever changes we make on this slide right here at the top one are going to show up on every other slide style, every other layout in this presentation. So with the slide master viewable, go back to the view menu and we're going to do two things. Right here in the show group, I'm going to check the box to turn on my rulers. Notice that my horizontal and vertical rulers showed up. And I'm going to turn on the guides. And you can see two dashed lines identifying the center point of the slide. Because I'm on the master of all master slides, so it's the office theme slide master, slide number one. Because I'm on that slide, I can change where these guides are. So it says in the directions here to drag the horizontal, horizontal guide down to the position at three inches. So clicking on the PowerPoint window to make it active, I grab the edge of this guide. You see how I get the move arrows? And I click and hold, and I'm going to drag that down to the three inch mark. And it tells me when I'm at exactly three. So I let go of my mouse. Now I'm going to drag this one right here, the vertical ruler or vertical guide over to the four and a half inch mark. And as soon as I see exactly 4.50, I let go. Next, now we're going to insert an image. So click the insert tab on the PowerPoint window. And where it says images, you're going to select pictures and you're going to say from this device. And now we need to browse to our documents folder. And within documents folder, there is a it's a folder called Jasper Active, but it changes every time. So don't ever think you can save in it or find something in it every time. It changes each time for each lesson. So I'm going to open up Jasper Active folder and look in the resource files folder. And there is my Talano Environmental Consulting logo. Select it and click insert, or you can double click it. Now notice it put it right in the middle of my slide. <clears throat> so it says under picture tools format tab, notice as soon as we put a picture in, we have a new tab that appeared up here in the ribbon called picture format. So select picture format. And then in the arrange group, you are going to say selection pane right here. Notice it's called picture seven and it's selected because we have the grab handles around it. Click right here next to picture seven and we can actually delete that and rename it. TEC logo. Notice over here in the Jasper Active Directions, I capitalized and spelled exactly as they did. 
Once you have that done, click enter and you've now renamed the picture TEC logo. So close the selection pane. Next, we need to drag the picture to the right side until it is aligned with the vertical and horizontal guides. So I'm going to click on it to make it active. As soon as I see that four way move arrow, left click and hold and drag it down and PowerPoint will show you when you have it lined up just right. And it's right about there. Next, step three, modify in placeholders. So another thing we can do in our slide master is we can change the placeholders. So each one of these boxes is referred to as a placeholder. They want us to click in the slide master tab. And then we're going to go to background styles. Hang on just a second. And in background styles, we are going to make sure we are style five. So if you apply style five and it only does it in one of these boxes, make sure you click on the actual slide where there is no box. So I clicked on the outer edge and it applied the background style to the whole background. Remember, I said everything we do on the slide master, the master ball, master, master, master slides happens to all the slides below and you can see that is taking place in the navigation pane then <clears throat> uh, in the layout click the title placeholder so up here title placeholder is now selected the grab handles are around it and there's no flashing cursor so what we're going to do now is change the font so I come up here in the slide master background group fonts drop down and they want us to select century gothic. So I scroll down until I see it, give it a click and it's updated that style. Next, now we're going to create our own new slide layout. Those of you that are interested in passing the Microsoft Office Specialist test, and that should be every one of you, you need to understand how to work in slide master like we've been doing and how to create your own layout so what we're going to do first is go to the view tab and for this we're going to turn on our grid lines when you turn on the grid lines you see it's put a little light dotted checkerboard around here so we can see the spacing and make sure when we put new boxes and things into our slide layout they're all the same size so now go back to the slide master view and you're going to select insert layout now it inserted the layout at your new layout at the very bottom of the slide master list that's okay notice now we're at the very bottom in the navigation pane we can click on that slide and now we're ready to follow the rest of the directions so in the slide layout group it says we're going to insert a new placeholder. So we go to the slide master, master layout. I'm going to do the more button and look at all the different types of things you can add. You can put picture placeholders in, table placeholders, media, just regular content boxes or text. What we're going to do for this is insert text. And step number four here says drag to draw the text placeholder from the first grid line beneath the left corner to the grid line ending by the Tolano logo. So I click here, notice I have a plus sign that my cursor has changed. I click and I'm going to drag and create right about there and let go. And now I have a text placeholder. Notice we have a bulleted list. Second level is a hash mark. And then third level is a smaller bullet. Fourth level is another hash mark that's a little smaller than the second level. Fifth level, we get to these double arrows. Let me see what they have us do next. On the Slide Master tab, they want you to rename the layout. So go back to your Slide Master tab. And notice right here, we can rename the layout. Another way to do it is to right click on the slide layout that you just created and you can say rename layout. But I'm going to follow the directions and click rename layout. 
and the default is one custom layout, we're going to change this to capital PEC space capital L layout and click rename. Now when I hover over it, it says TEC layout. Next, now we're going to edit master text styles. So click on your new layout and select uh, the home tab and in the drawing group quick styles you're going to select the moderate effect black dark one so up here in the drawing group quick styles moderate effect black dark one And there it is. Notice it changed my font color to white, so you can read it. Now, this is always one of those slightly frustrating things uh, with, with students as I teach you how to create your own custom layout, because the next step is you need to learn how to delete a layout. And guess which one we're going to delete? So we can go to the Slide Master tab. Make sure you are selected on your new TEC layout. And then you can either click delete up here or you can right click it like I showed you before and delete the layout here. So I'm just going to say delete and it's now gone. Now we click close the master view and we go back to our original PowerPoint, which is really goofy looking, but notice all the changes we made are reflected here in every one of the slides. They now have the company logo, they have the background style that we chose, and the font styles that we chose. That should do it. So, uh, close master view, review it, click any slide. Notice that the title placeholder is matching what we did. This is just so goofy. If you guys worked for me and created a PowerPoint that had the logo covered up or getting in the way, I would fire you. Good thing you don't work for me, right? Okay, now, last thing we need to do is turn off our grid lines. So go to the View tab, uncheck Grid Lines, and uncheck Guides. And we're going to leave Ruler selected because it's actually really handy to have that ruler for all our future work in PowerPoint. At this point, we submit it and get it. There it is, 100%. Thank you very much. And we will learn.